Making big things happen, ladies and gentlemen. Got a cool something to show you, hold on. Boom, turn that music off. So, as you guys know, a few videos back, I told you guys I was launching a new apparel company and I've been getting a lot of comments, people asking me like up for updates for it. I'm gonna show you guys kinda a little bit of what goes into the process right here. So, check this out. This is essentially a sketch of some joggers that I'm going to release. And this is kinda what I wanted to stress to you guys was that this isn't just gonna be me like buying shirts and printing on them. This is like legit, everything's getting designed. Like, we were pulling no punches with this release. So check this out so you guys can see. So basically this is a set of joggers, right? And this is the product development phase. So this is the front of them right here. So like we're doing some custom things here, like a zip side pocket, logo placement, like right here. And then one thing I actually did have them change, I actually talked to them and since there's only one pocket on these right here, I wanted a second pocket on the side, which I think will end up being really cool. And then you see we have a two panel design going on right here, trying to keep these quality. And then on the back, we're also gonna add a nut, one zipper for like a wallet, cause that's a big thing with me and joggers. It's like to have my wallet with me, cause I don't just wear them to the gym, I kind of wear them out and about. Lifestyle, right? We have another little logo right here with some paneling on the side. So this is just a preliminary sketch, but this is basically, a, like I told you guys, I was doing this big and I wasn't really going to hold anything back. So for those of you wondering, I will announce more details here soon. Everything is still in the development stages. I don't want to hype this up and continue to hype it up. I kind of want to work on it in the background. And then once we have an official launch day, I want to be like, boom, we have all of our products. Everything's designed, everything's professional. I really want to uh, knock this out of the park. So yeah. You guys excited? Comment below what you think, comment below. And speaking of new products, we actually just had two new flavors of Tunnel Vision drop, but we had some issues. Our manufacturer just delivered them to our warehouse and we found out that uh, some of the units are damaged. So I need to drop what I'm doing and run over there and inspect this shipment. So obviously you guys are coming along. Straight off rip, this is gonna look very different to you guys. If you watched my video where I kind of went through the behind the scenes stuff, so I'm not gonna get into it too much right now, you knew that we had a big problem getting our tunnel vision back in stock. Big issue with our manufacturer, but we got that problem solved. So, we got sour candy back in stock, we got a couple more weeks on white monster, we finally got that problem figured out, thank God. And then our new cotton candy flavor just launched. I absolutely love this flavor. I've only tested it with the uh, beta versions, is that the right word? The sampling version is all I've tried. I actually haven't tried it out of the finished tub yet, so we're gonna sample this just in a second. And we also have Coke bottle gummy that should be here in the next couple of days because we ordered over a thousand tubs of Tunnel Vision. So for everybody that's tried it, everybody that supported it, you guys are incredible. We literally sold out so fast last time. We learned our lesson this time. We have enough, hopefully to last us for at least like a month, unless you guys buy all of them, but let's go test this out. Hollywood on them. <laughs> All these sick angles, man. They ain't even gonna know what to do. Okay, we mixed up our cotton candy tunnel vision. I'm gonna have you try it with me. You Let's game with that? It. Let's do it. All right, let me go ahead and do a little. Just a little. It ain't workout time yet. Ooh! It's getting there. It's me. definitely cotton candy. No doubt about that. Honest flavor review incoming. You gotta smell first. Yeah. You never know. Could be poop in there. Wow. Right? Yeah. Right? I've had other cotton candy pre-workouts and I'm telling you guys, I will bet there's not <laughs> another pre-workout out there that is cotton candy flavored that tastes as cotton candy as ours. Hands down. Hands down. 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 They're down. On the ground. Heck. They're down. I'm putting mine all the way yeah. down. Let me, get, let me get below you. <laughs> <laughs> now that product testing is out of the way, I told you guys that we had some items damaged in our shipment, so I'm gonna show you guys what we mean by that and one of the casualties of being a, in the manufacturing business. It's way harder to walk backwards than you think. Hold on, I got that for you. Thank there you. we go, that's how we do it. All right, check this out. Look at some of these units right here. Look at this, we literally get them in a big pallet. Some of them literally come like that. Some of these like, lid doesn't even go on, they're busted, we have products leaking out of them. Like look at this, powder already leaking. So out of a thousand units, we only had six that are damaged. So in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that bad, but if you're gonna be successful at business, right, you can't just like write these off, like ah, it's a loss. You gotta report them, you gotta get some money back for them. Cause if you think about it, this is 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, almost $250 in damaged goods right here that we are not gonna get any return on our investment for. So a thousand tubs ordered, six of them being damaged. Like I said, it's really not that crazy, but you gotta think about it. If this happens every single time you order, you order four times a year, that's a 
thousand dollars you're missing out on. Over the course of 10 years, that is ten thousand dollars you're missing out on. So all those little things add up. So it's very important to keep track and log this stuff instead of just writing it up. But in the meantime, it's not like these are compl complete waste. What I'll probably do is have Ankrum. He can use these as like sample units, the ones that aren't too badly damaged, like this one here. Like everything's still on it, but it's all just kind of busted a little bit. But there's been no like product uh, seepage contamination, whatever the right word is there. So we can actually use some of these to at least get something out of it. But still, like I said, it's important to track all this stuff. If you are in business, one piece of advice I can give you is to track literally everything. Sounds like a pain in the butt, but like every time I buy anything for my business, I take a picture of the receipt, I store it in my phone and it's logged because tax time's upon us. And last thing you wanna do as a business owner is not track anything, then it's tax time and you're scrambling. If you have it all already, you're in a way better position. So a little bit of advice for those you try to start businesses, but uh, yeah. Isn't that crappy though? Oof. Oh, snack time, guys. Vegan beef jerky, the biggest oxymoron in the world. But the macros on this thing, it's literally like whole pack, 60 calories. I'm gonna link this in the description box below. I'm also gonna put the website right here. Check these guys out, really. Vegan beef jerky, game changer on a cut, game changer. Just, and then just give them to customers. Hey, you wanna try this vegan beef jerky? I would love to. <laughs> okay. Hey, what about you, Hank? Let's do it. All right, vegan beef jerky. It looks just like beef jerky. Oh, like a... Boom. Very burnt one. Boom. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Take a bite and then I'll tell you what it's made of. I can get down with it. Mm -hmm. Right. Made of mushrooms, dude. Really? Right. I guess you can see I can it. I see it. Now you can. Mm -hmm. 60 calories in the whole pack. Imagine having this on a cut. All right. Game changer. Mm. That is Game changer. good. Back Attack Snacks, check them out. Good people, good product. Dried mushrooms. Dried mushrooms. Dried mushrooms. Dried mushrooms. Dried <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to the gym with Nate, hit some back today. Yep. You gonna put me through one, are you? Let's get it. All right, guys, workout time. Three, two, one. Easter physique update. How am I looking? This is after pizza, ice cream, everything. Oh, no cardio. Woo. How are we looking, Grant? How's that back looking? Looks awesome. Am I finally looking bigger than Nate? Let's find out. Oh, how many eggs did you have, son? <laughs> Dude, it's a kid's fault. <laughs> So I wanted to do this right here because, Nate, what do you weigh right now, 250? Uh, 250. All right, let's do a little physique comparison side by side. Look at this. Can I flex this time? Oh yeah, flex, flex. <laughs> Look at this monster. Is he out angling me right now? A little so, bit. So I weigh right now about 170. Nate weighs about 250, right? Roughly. Yeah, look at just how Look at that. We gotta make a comment too about the hairy chest right now. This is my wife, dude. Let's do that. Guys, comment below. Tell her to let me shave it. She loves it, I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, I guess everybody's got their own preference. Dude, I'm I don't know. She loves it. I, I think my girlfriend likes the shit. Yeah, comment below. What do you guys prefer? Men, shaved. Well, you can't say men. Or hairy. Hairy. Or shaved. 
What do you prefer? Now, I mean, you, now you you can't just go off of like the, like yeah, we're talking overall. Nate's just in general. Nate's obviously got me beat right here. Just if you're general. talking, you know, mono a mono. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is 250 pound physique versus 170 pound physique. And I had someone comment on my last video. You seen the epic cheat meal video? They were basically like, "What do you do after a crazy cheat meal? Like when you're dieting? How do you track it? How do you log it? What do you do the days after?" And honestly, guys, I just enjoy myself on a cheat day and then just get back to the program. One che epic cheat meal isn't gonna make you fat the same way one day of eating clean isn't gonna make you skinny. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's all about balance. Like, I think it's really easy to overthink the entire process and be like, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, and stress yourself out. But ultimately, guys, the lifestyle, you wanna have fun while doing it. Don't miss <laughs> out on 95% of your life trying to weigh 5% less. Have your fun, guys, right? Have your, have your balance. enjoyment, balance, enjoy. You know, you can still have some abs, still have a good time, make some gains, but have some fun too, exactly. some memories. That's what life's about. That's what life's about, Gotta baby. have fun, it's too short. Hit that thumbs up button for Nate in this hairy chest. Jeez, hold on, I'm gonna get that out. I'm not actually <laughs> gonna do that. The ingredients to a perfect night after your workout, get you some Chipotle so you don't have to cook, and then you also need a little snack to go with the Chipotle. You gotta have something in the evening to indulge those sweet cravings. Let me show you what my new favorite thing is. These have slowly became my favorite protein ice cream right here. It's my favorite flavor, movie night. They got some other ones, I'm telling you guys, this beats the crap out of Halo Top, so let's head home. Back at the house, time to unwind. I really have the secret to success right here. Everything a man needs to be successful. All you need is a laptop for your work, Chipotle for them gains, and low calorie ice cream so you don't, I don't know, bang your head against a wall because you've been dieting too long. This is what keeps me sane, baby. I'm telling you guys too, Enlightened Ice Cream. It's my new favorite, it's my new favorite. I'm probably gonna reach out to them and see if they'll send me all their pints. They'll do like a review, something like that. So yeah, movie night though, give this a try. Comment below after you do it or on the next video, let me know what you guys think. But I'm gonna wind down right now. I'm gonna finish up some emails. Been doing a lot of later night work because it makes my mornings run a lot smoother. On top of that too, so much is going on with the launch of this new business. Out Hustle, Pure Bollocks, all of that is absolutely blowing up. And by the way, if you guys want one of those new flavors, code RJF10 will save you 10% off at outhustle.com. Thank you guys for all the support. I'm telling you, you will love the new flavors and all the new stuff that is happening. That's what I always preach to people. You put enough positive energy into anything, enough hard work, enough dedication, you're only gonna get good things out of it. Two years ago, I was working for somebody else. Now. I'm I own three separate companies. We are crushing on every level. YouTube is killing it, and I'm just living my best life. And I encourage you guys, if you have a dream, a passion, something like that, go after it, because I'm telling you, what's the worst that could happen? You fail, try again, try again. With that, <laughs> we are out of here. Thank you guys so much for the support. Smash that thumbs up button and comment below and let me know if there's any ideas you guys have for videos, the weather around here. <sighs> it's gonna get better soon, and once it does, I'm gonna go out and do more stuff, but as of right now, we're kinda stuck indoors, but we're making the most of it. And the fact that you guys are still here watching means the world to me, so. As always, guys, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know Whose day you can make it better? With that, we are at here. This has been a Remington James production. I will see you fine, ladies and gentlemen, at the next video. See you guys. And seriously, try this out. Not even kidding about that. It's amazing. Try it out. <laughs>